Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome back to episode nine. Nine already, believe that? Look at that picture right there with two balloons. Two, count them, oh, three, three balloons. Can't beat that, can't beat that. Welcome back, everyone, to episode nine of Old Stream Farms, the realistic farming channel for Farming Simulator 22. Where we use real tractors, we use real equipment, we have our realistic tutorials, and we have a real lot of fun. And we happen to show balloons. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic. I had a chance to take a good night's rest, get a couple of deep breaths in, and boy, I tell you. I feel 100% better. We are going to finish manuring today, spreading the smelly stuff, and then we're going to cultivate it in, and then I got a new cedar I want to try out. Awesome, awesome. Welcome, welcome, welcome all the new family members to the Tower of Power. Too sweet to be sour. Space is the place, and we are all funky like monkeys. Welcome to the family, everyone. Yeah. Let's do this. Awesome. Awesome. I have got some absolutely fantastic plans for this channel. Oh, oh, oh. You guys are going to love it, love it, love it. I am planning on doing something that I can promise you is something that no, and I repeat, no other modder. No other YouTuber, no other anybody is attempting to do on YouTube. But I can't tell you anything yet because I'm going to do some serious testing. Uh, the only thing I will give away is it is a map that I am planning on playing. And after getting stung and being a super upset yesterday, you guys know, you guys can always tell. You always send your well wishes and everything. Uh, I am going to spend, because this is my last video of the week, everyone. How awesome is that? And disappointing at the same time. Uh, I'm going to take the next two days, Saturday and uh, Sunday, and I'm going to test, and I'm going to test, and I'm going to test some more, and I'm going to test every opportunity that I can and every option from building to farming to everything on this map. And if it works out, I can tell you right now, I can guarantee, as Charles Barkley would say, that no one, and I mean no one on YouTube, is doing this. And I'm super, super excited, but I'm not going give to it, give it out, and I'm not going to be a one to rush, rush, rush right to the map. You guys know Fury doesn't get burned too many times. It's like my old man used to say to me. Fool me once, haha on me. Fool me twice, haha on you. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be quick to rush to maps anymore. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna make sure that we do the testing first. And then after 48 hours of straight testing, plus the map's been out for quite a while too, uh, which also helps. There won't be any tour. I'm gonna go on and, and we are gonna get right into it, especially if I spend the next two days working on it. So that's got some good news. Um, I don't think I'm going to touch a logging map for a while. Uh, and if if Dark Force does come out, I will test, test, test first before um, I'm going to put my first Let's Play out there. There's nothing worse, <laughs> you guys know. Getting a Let's Play set up, getting a playlist set up, getting everything up. And you release a video and <laughs> Bob's your uncle. <laughs> So how are you guys all doing? How what you guys working on on your farms? What you on your virtual farms? What do you guys got going on? Uh, we had a lot of questions today in the comments. Uh, it was exciting. Um, I wanted to give uh, Bill his answer over the video. Um, Bill asked on the tenth generation farmers video, he spread some white kind of powder into the stalls of the cows. Now, I'm really good friends with 10th gen generation farmers, so I'm very familiar with his farm. I'm very familiar how it works. He's literally a 10th generation farmer. But anyways, Bill, that is lime. 
It's the same thing that we spread on our fields uh, in Farming Simulator. It, uh, it helps with the bacteria. It keeps the dust down. And it also keeps the bugs away. Because uh, when you're coming into spring and summer, uh, you get a lot of... Cows get a lot of bugs. They, li they like to live in the straw. So that's lime. So what he's doing is he's taking a straw blower and he's the, the same ones that we have in game and he's putting lime in there with the straw and he's, he's blowing it in. Uh, sometimes he beds. Uh, if you guys notice his video, uh, or shall we say Bill, if you watched his videos, which I you know you do, you're a big fan of his, um, he, they have little pads, little black pads underneath their straw. So they come through, they shake the, um, the lime and the straw out. Then they come in with a skid steer, pill it out, get everything all cleaned out. Then they put those pads down, new straw down, and then some lime. Uh, he, he puts it sometimes in a skid steer and spreads it with a shovel. And sometimes he uses the straw blower and mixes the straw right with it. Um, and that's your answer. That is what it is. Nothing special. It's calcium fortified. It's the same thing that we spread on our fields. Exactly the same thing. So that's pretty easy. I also got a challenge for you guys. Um, I really, 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 uh, I don't like to promote too much social media because you guys know that I don't agree with it. Um, but... Uh, I wanted to promote my good friends, really, really, really good personal, personal friends over at G&G &G Modding. Um, Scooter's Workbench is over there, and he's been converting some mods. Uh, he's not converting them at a super, super high pace is what he liked to because he, he works a real job. He's super busy. He's like 90% uh, of us in America that are busy. Uh, I mean, even though Fury's retired, I'm busy too. Uh, but I want you guys to, I'm going to challenge each and every one of you that has social media, that likes social media, that, that uses it. If you want to go to a great, great, great place with a great, great, great bunch of dudes and girls and any, everybody else who's over there who release super duper cool mods, uh, super duper realistic mods. Now, Scooter, uh, my good friend Scooter's Workbench, um... Uh, he re he does smaller equipment like super old tractors. Uh, if you guys get a chance, go back on Fury's playlist and go under way, 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 way back in the beginning of when I first started when I didn't have the best computer in the world and I was still doing mod reviews with my laptop uh, for for Scott. He uh, he did the Farmall 405 or f yeah something like that the 405 505 or something. Um, it is probably one of the top 10 most detailed mods I've ever seen. Uh, for real. Scooter's Workbench also did the uh, washer, pressure washer, uh, the, the pipe pressure washer uh, for Farming Simulator 19. He's converting them all over. He's got a John Deere uh, mower. He's got a whole bunch of mods that he's working on. Uh, do me two favors, though, when you go over there. A, don't uh, you got to answer three questions. So don't, it's not like you just go in there and join, 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 and you're done. Um, the, a really good friend of mine is the moderator. Um, and I just want you guys to know he's got three questions and they're really simple. It's like one of the questions is, do you, uh, when did you start playing farm sim and three things like that. Now it's been a long time since I've gone on there and I'm sure that Vic has absolutely uh, updated it um, since then because he's the moderator. Uh, the other thing is make sure that you answer the questions. It's very, very, very important to not only me but to them. Um, and even though I'm not a member of social media, you have to play by their rules because it's their page. Please, please, please also make sure that you have a profile pic on your Facebook page um, because if you don't, Vic won't let you in. Um, he's very, very big on the profile pick. Uh, I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it literally where I know the person, we know the person, they know the person, but if they don't have a profile pick, we don't know if it's a bot. We don't know if it's a uh, person trying to 
uh, steel mods because they're very, very, very firm on that. Uh, the mods that they do give out and they release are absolutely free. There's no if, ands, or buts. Uh, answer the three questions and please, please, please make sure you have a profile pic. But most importantly, one of his biggest rules, well, he's got two. Um, and I know this firsthand because I know him personally. Make sure that you're not going on there and bugging for mods. Um, don't go in there and say, hey, where's all the mods at? I'm going to tell you where they're at right now. And second of all, don't go on there and bash or berate, uh, berate other people. Um, Vic has a rule that he's just like Fury. That Where do you think I got it from? Uh, I spent a lot of time with a guy. I spent a lot of time off camera, off the social media, talking to him. He is probably one of my dearest friends um, outside of, of Farm Sim. And he will not tolerate going on there and berating everybody. But I will also tell you that he is also one of the nicest guys. Uh, if you need maps from FS19, um, they have several over there that they have done. And they were the top two or three maps done for Farming Simulator. So if you still play Farming Simulator 19, head on over there. They got all the mods. What you're going to do is you're going to go under announcements. It's on the left-hand side of the page. And you're going to click announcements. And right there is all their mods just keep scrolling all the way down and you'll get there's tons there's tons and tons of mods there for still for farm some 19 and scooter is now where did i put this oh it's over by the thing uh scooter is slowly slowly getting them converted over to 22 but please don't for fury's sake please don't just go on there and bug scott for the mods because he's not going to have them ready yet he's busy the poor guy works 60 hours, 70 hours a week, and we don't need him just being stressed out. He's too nice of a guy for that. Uh, so for Fury, I want you guys to challenge you, those who still have social media. Um, go on over, join their page, and get some absolutely fantastic mods. It is great. You will love it. Um, they're a great, great group of guys, and they will, if you guys ever have any questions... They will answer them. I mean, Vic was always, always, when I was part of that, um, he was uh, always one of the first ones to answer my questions when I had a problem with the game, with a problem with this, um, or that, or anything. They're just super nice. So do that for Fury. Go on over there, and where is... I don't have a cultivator yet? Awesome. We get to go to the store. We get to go to the store and grab us a cultivator. Dun, 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 a little six meter cultivator that I downloaded a couple of days ago. It's on the in-game mud hub. Mud, mud hub. <laughs> the in-game mud hub. The in-game mod hub. Um, and it's the rab, the rabid, radbud, or something like that. I'll show you when we get in there. Ooh, I'm going to pull right out in front of this car. My tractor's got turbo. I want to play like the Knight Rider theme. No, 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 But man, oh, so... Getting back to my thing, I have got some... That's all right, buddy. Look at that. I'll just drive over the front of your car. <laughs> I am absolutely excited about the plans I've got going on. And I'm telling you, if this testing goes through and works out, you guys are going to be amazed. In the famous words of Shazam, amazed. <laughs> Other way over. See the, the bluebird. Um, six meters or six meters, uh, 2.3 or 2.2. Do we want the bar on the back? Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it folds. That's why I was like, why is it? Let's go like this and let's see what this one looks like. What is the difference? 6,000. Oh, this is a front cultivator and a back cultivator. Sweet. We are going to go to the back. Awesome. Awesome. And I think... You know what? I think you can cultivate about not we used to go in about eleventh gear, so I think you can stay at nine or ten. In fact, I'm gonna go ten. Because we used to go right along. Um let's grab or black. Let's go black. Awesome. And you know what's nice? The reason I always grab anything that's six meter, 
I really, really, really try to grab so it folds. With the exception of the cedar that I'm getting ready to do. We might have time today. I don't know. So let's do this. Let's unfold this and take a look at this. Look at that. Look at that. How sweet is that? Now, the difference between this and a subsoiler is what, everyone? Or a plow. This just skims the ground about six to eight inches into the ground and just literally pulls it up. And what these little points do is they pull into the ground and then it spreads it out. And all of that yummy slurry, all that yummy lime, all that stuff gets pushed right down to about six to eight inches into the ground. So remember, your subsoil has loosened the ground uh, to about a depth of 18 to 24 inches. So almost two feet into the ground, you've loosened it up. Now you've spread all that yummy lime, all that yummy uh, fertilizer and fun stuff onto your uh, field, right? So now you're going to go along with this cultivator and you're going to literally just kind of shimmy it right into the ground. So deep, it's got fertilizer, mid-range it's got fertilizer, and right on the surface it's got fertilizer. That's why you do things in this many steps. Um, a lot of people are like... I don't understand why you do it. You can you can get a direct drill and seed right over it. Uh, you can. And I'll tell you something. The other thing that FarmSim did wrong is if you direct drill with stubble still on here, like, for example, um, the corn and things that you get the stubble left over, in real life, you can seed over that. But guess what? That stubble doesn't go away. It stays there. So when you're taking your harvester and you're going, D -d 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 it will... Big make your harvester header pop up and down like this, do 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 do, and you won't get an even cut on your on your wheat or barley. Okay, this is why you cultivate because cultivating literally smooths out the surface. Now see, now it's what I don't understand is why we're making more rocks. Hey, okay? awesome! It shouldn't have I plowed already. So here's a thing for farm sim everyone. If you, if you subsoil and then you cultivate after you've put on a couple of layers of fertilizer, uh, you can get double rocks. So for those of you who are playing on areas that you're creating your own lime with the lime crusher, uh, you can definitely make double the amount of rocks off a field. I'm proving it right here. Okay. So then we'll go through and we'll pick up the rocks. And after that, then we'll get ready to seed. I'm just going to do a couple headlands, and then I'm going to get Walter working. And I'm going to... I want to go check on the animals real quick. And get him... Uh, I don't think we need a second tractor yet, because we're pretty much doing everything. But once we seed, so I'm guessing we're going to have probably... Uh, we'll see how far we get today. But we're probably going to have another hour's worth of work before. Because once we're seed... Actually, you know what? We can't seed. We can't. Remember, I learned that on the multiplayer. Uh, you can't seed wheat in August. Uh, where is the times table? Where is... Oh, right here. Yeah, see? You can't seed it until September 1st. Okay? So... We got to wait to the end of the day. So we're going to be able to get this in one more episode. We're going to pick up the rocks. And it should say 100% fertilized. And it does. Awesome. Uh, we're going to get the rocks picked up. And then that's it. We can't do anything on the field until uh, tomorrow, which will be September 1st. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to check on the animals, make sure they're fed, make sure the manure is cleaned up. And then we are going to get to the next day we're gonna it's getting later in the afternoon it's about 3 20 in the afternoon anyways so realistically farmers when they get done with everything their day's done uh but a farmer's job is never really done anyways we all still have uh family life and things going on uh like for example when my kids were growing up and i was still working on the farm and we had little league practice and things you're still running them in the summertime to their games and stuff uh so Oh, see, this... Oh, I was going to say, that didn't pick up too many rocks. I don't want to buy a second tractor yet. 
just yet. I really don't, if I can help it. So, yep, all this little yummy stuff is going right down about six inches into the ground. And that is it. And it's going to, it's perfect because now we're fertilized not only 100% on this field, but we're fertilized on the low end, on the mid end, and on the high end. It absolutely makes it. I didn't activate my sim dashboard, but between you and I, I just used it. And that's the great thing. Yeah, because I haven't checked on the cows in a few hours. So once we get Walter working here. Oh, I downloaded that. Yeah, I got to figure out how to do that. Maybe we'll do that real quick on the camera here. Once we hire him. I want to hire it so that when we look over on the tractor, we can see, like, names. I downloaded the helper. Remember, it was one of my top mods. Well, somebody finally dropped it. See, this is the other thing, everyone. If you noticed, I don't use uh, any kind of GPS 99% of the time. I really don't. Uh, I just think this 1990 tractor would probably have it, but it would not have GPS like you know it and I know it. It would have what's called the Starfire uh, GPS on it. And the Starfire had this big uh, beacon-looking thing on the top of the tractor, and that's what would pick up the edges of your field. Uh, Starfires can be mounted in pretty much any tractor, but they're aftermarket. They don't come uh, with the new tractors. The new tractors come with um, actual GPS because they're all computerized. This tractor wouldn't... It would have computers, but not... Um, it would have like a monitor, and that's about it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was four headlands, right? So we're going to just do this. And then we're going to come back down. Um, we're going to go two more up here. And then, yeah, two up here and then two down there. There we go. We got it, right? We got it. We got it. And then I'll send Walter off because the edges are done now. He'll stop when he gets to the cultivated part. But this map is really super night nice. Uh, some of the maps that are dropping now, I was telling Vic when him and he was PMing me today, and uh, I told him, I said, man, some of these 4X maps that are coming out are absolutely beautiful. I mean, I remember when uh, in Farm Sim 19, when we couldn't get too many 4X maps because it was horrible with the graphics. It was just bad. Like, uh... The game system, I'm so glad that they upgraded the game engine. Because you guys see, look at the difference in the maps. Um, I've been driving around the last couple of days on some really, really, really nice 4X maps. And absolutely super smooth, absolutely super uh, graphical free. Look at that forestry map that I was on. Um, nothing. It was absolutely smooth. I couldn't believe it. Ooh, see? That's Fury not paying attention. Not paying attention. Yeah, so I got a lot of work to do this weekend as far as farm sim goes. And then we will be able to, because, I, like I told you guys, I've said it twice now, I can't I can't allow myself to get stung again. So now, before Fury starts a playlist, it's going to have some... Um, uh, testing done on it and also um and all right so i wanted to point out something i wanted to notice if you guys and gals noticed the same thing all right did you notice that since patch 1.3 came out uh there is absolutely the maps loading up now super fast remember in the beginning when we first when it first dropped we were like uh why is it taking like 10 minutes to load the maps up and now it's lickety split. Now it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and it's loading right up. Uh, and I also noticed, I don't know if you guys have noticed it either, that when maps are dropping now, they're dropping, but then really, really quickly updates are being done. In fact, the new French plane says it right in the right in the description. I was looking at the brand new French uh, French planes map that came out. And uh, which was originally a 4X map and now is only a 2X map. Uh, it says right in the description that. Um, give me one second. 
Let me send. Can I not hire? No field. Oh, you know what? AI worker Elizabeth. See, I got the names up there, but I got to change them. Okay, so that's all right. We'll do this ourselves. We're not above doing work. I just wanted to hire them, but apparently now that... Oh, you know why? You know why? I know why this is doing this. Because I downloaded the field creator with the cultivator. And if you look... Both cultivator this cultivator. Yeah, but it's not... Um, Wow. Well, I'm going to have to do some checking on that because I did download the field creator with the cultivator. I Because technically you can create a field with a cultivator. It's just not very, uh, not, not a really good outline field. So I may have to get rid of that mod because I think that's what it's doing. It's putting this into a... Um, a, a different kind of like that's why we got rocks because it's basically creating a new field no because yeah I did some testing there it's not like it you have to hit Y before remember to hit it I don't know I might not even have activated it now I don't know <laughs> it's not the end of the world we'll just get double rocks off which we can sell them anyways it's not the end of the world uh, and then one of these trips, I got to go up with our truck and I got to grab some more. I got to grab some seeds and I got to grab some more lime. The lime in the coconut. Uh, and depending on how much manure we still have left, um, I might grab a couple of pallets of manure. But I don't think so because I think our cows are going to... I think we're still at like 50% for that. So we'll have plenty. Um for a while I think because remember this is only a three acre field this is super tiny in my front yard and my where my house is located has this much land on it I have 3.76 acres around my house that my house is on that I mow every week so I mow like this much every single week in the, in the summertime um, and so, yeah, we have an absolutely, it's not huge, but it's big. I mean, in my ride lawnmower, I take, takes me about an hour, but I'm also not going 7 million miles an hour either. I mean, my... Riding lawnmower doesn't have a speedometer on it. If it did, I'd probably enter it in a contest. <laughs> That's just the way Fury is. The other question I have for you guys, since we all, 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 all are honest with each other, um, I have a, I have a simple little question, and it, it, you guys don't have to answer it if you don't want to. You can if you want. You don't have to. Uh. When I go back and I check the analytics for our videos that we release, how am I getting only 10 minutes of watch time per video, but yet I'm putting out an hour of video? So are you guys honestly skipping through the video? Or are you honestly watching the whole video? Or some of you doing both? Um, and the reason why I ask is because, being brutally honest, uh, the watch time goes up when I put an hour video out. It goes up to like 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, and when I put out a 30 minute video, it's like 10. So what I'm interested in knowing, and this is, this is the feedback that Fury always searches for. Um, if I'm putting out an hour long video and you guys are only watching a third of it, um, should I put out shorter videos or you guys like to have the ability to um because in the, re the other reason i'm asking and like i said we've always been honest with each other we've always been open and honest with the family members here and everybody 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 has been great um 
I've, I've noticed also that there has been some issues with people that will come on and they'll ask me a question about something that I've mentioned in the video. Uh, like, for example, we had somebody asking for the mobile mod and it was in my top mod list and it was number one, actually. Um, so that's my question to you guys. And you don't have to answer it. I don't want to put anybody on the spot. I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. Uh, but if you, if a few of you that are my really good friends could let me know in the comments uh, what what you guys are doing with the videos. If um, I know Ranger will tell me, I know Russell will tell me, I know CC will tell me, and I know that uh, Grizzly will tell me um, what's going on uh, because it's um, it's a little disheartening when you take the time and you put out an hour video and people watch like 15 minutes of it and the rest of the time they're but because remember when we did the poll back in the day and you guys said no 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 we want to see the longer videos we want to see the longer videos and I put out an hour video and then people are like uh I'm only gonna watch I'm gonna skip around to what I want to watch and then to pick on you guys then you'll ask me questions about um what I said in the video and you'll say things like oh well I like this uh, this new mobile mods one of my top ones and I wish someone would come out with it <laughs> and I just chuckle and I, I take it and I laugh and I just explain to you guys in the comment it's already out um, but if you guys could let me know at least a few of you guys hopefully a few of you guys that have watched it this far um, I know that when I watch a video uh, if it's an hour long, unless it's Grizzly Bear or Farmer Z or uh, Mighty Mike, I do the same thing. But at least I'm, I let them know, hey, um, I skipped to when you switched implements or whatever. And uh, this is why I think between, since we're all friends and family here, this is why between us and the wall... Why I believe everybody's been doing time lapses because there's no, um, the videos are like 10 minutes long. I watched a guy earlier I put a video out that was literally 10 minutes long, but he played like 10 hours in game. He just sped, sped the time up and there's no talking. There's just music to listen to and you can fast forward to where you want to. You can see what he's doing. If you want to watch him doing a certain field or whatever. This is why I really, really, really believe people are doing time lapses. Uh, no fuss, no muss, no having to come on and entertain, no af having to ask all this stuff, and um, that sort of thing. I know, I know, I know. It is very, very hard to watch a video uh, of somebody harvesting for 13 hours straight. But... I told you guys from the beginning that realism, when it comes to realistic farming, um, is not a glamorous job. I try to make it as fun as I can. I try to have as many stories as I can. We try to do trivia, which we haven't done in forever. Uh, you know, I try to do it as much as I can so you guys are kind of listening to what's going on. Um, and maybe I need to bring back some of that stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, one of the guys on Farmer Z's stream uh, the other day, Wednesday night, uh, was talking about them having to do... The, they have like nine harvesters going and things like that. And it's still... They have like a thousand acres. And it still takes them a week. A week to ten days to harvest a thousand acres with nine harvesters and nine grain carts and nine auger wagons. Oh, can you just imagine the choreographed chaos that is? But it still takes a week. Um, so, can you imagine being the person in that harvester for a week straight, seeing nothing but wheat? I'd go insane. Um, and I know I've done it. And I have probably, you guys know, that I have probably one of the best um, patients out there as far as playing the, the game the right speed. Uh, because if it's a matter of me, I'm releasing too many videos or people are just busy, um, I can slow down. I can start releasing a lot less videos and play a lot more off camera. Um, that's not an issue. I don't have a problem with that. 
Uh, but it is funny. I just laugh, and it is funny. And then I turn around and I get comments like, "Oh, no video today." <laughs> After you guys are like, uh, "We can't keep up," because I do hear a lot um, that you, a lot of people tell me. A lot of my friends will say, um, "Well, I have to." Uh, catch up on all your videos and I'm like okay because what I do as soon as somebody's video that I want to watch like Creedence drops and things like that um, I go right over and I watch it but then again I'm retired so I don't have a real life so I, I can't be that that's not fair alright so we got finished spreading the manure we cultivated now we got to go do this again which is kind of weird how it's uh it's making me do it twice. Because what I may do is I may turn rocks off after after we get done with this field. I may turn them off. Just so that it's... Now this is two extra steps that I've had to do on this. And it's not that's not realistic at all. And I can't turn them off now because they're still in the field. But we're going to go through... And can you hire a worker to do, um, to do your rocks? Let's find out here. Yes, you can. Okay. So let's get him a couple of headlands and then we'll get him going. Awesome. So you can hire workers. Whoops. Got to lower it down. So, Farmer Z, this goes out to you. If you want to do, uh, if you still t turn your stones on, instead of you doing them, hire a worker to do them. He'll just go, just make sure you get this iconic one that I have that holds like a million. You could turn them loose doing the, doing the field rocks. And if you have the rock crusher, you can make a whole bunch of lime. Lime in the coconut. It's not going to give us a cultivated state because we are already cultivated. So we're just picking up rocks according to the the line. So we're going to get him set up. We're going to go up here and we're going to get a couple headlands. And then I, I got to get him off because I want to check on the cows Zeroni before this day's over again. I've already got one of their loads of manure out. I got to get another one out with our skid steer. I think yeah, I think that's a good idea. As soon as this this field is cleared with rocks, I'm going to turn the rocks off because we're not we're not making our own lime here. So we're just selling them, and we don't you don't get a lot of money. I think for the two thousand dollars worth I, or two thousand pounds that I sold before, I think you literally get like sixty bucks. It's not it's not a lot. Man, it's a beautiful map, for real. It is absolutely a beautiful map. I gotta figure out how to turn the um, the workers' names off. We'll do two, and we'll see how far he goes. Huh. My sim dashboard just turned on all by itself. That's kind of crazy. Awesome. Let's just get him turned and see how well he does. We may have to come clean up after him, but that's okay. Let's go right here. This is the guesswork. There. Bye, Walter. Or Sarah. Uh, let's try something here real quick. Well, he's doing that. Actually, let's get off the field. Let's see what it is to change. Let's bring up the, the worker helper. And I wonder if it'll stay, too. That's the other thing. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Character creation. We already know how to do all that stuff. We know how to do that. Should be down towards the bottom. 
Guidance steering helper right here. Left shift and plus. Right? Left shift and plus. Let's try that. Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay. Off the monkey with it off camera. I got stuff to do. <laughs> I always do that, and I find myself spending like 10 minutes trying to figure out how to do something, and I should have just tested it off camera. I'm not going to get us frustrated anymore. Do, 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 do. Oh, the other thing is, do you guys want to... Let's get this cleaned out first. Um, do you guys want to do chickens on this farm? Where are we? Okay, we are getting some milk. We got another. We got enough mixed ration, I think, to finish us the day. Um, because I'll buy some right now, and we'll go get some. Uh, we'll go get some bags of wheat if you want, real quick. Now, do you still need a rooster? I have never done chickens in this game, so I think. Uh, what's this one? What's the difference, chicken? Oh, wait. Uh, puberty is six months. Okay, the animal has reached its breeding age. Animals that are healthy and older, six months can reproduce. Yeah, we want them to reproduce, right? So let's get, I think in 19, it was, it was uh, eight to one, I think, right? We'll try it with 10. So, well, no, we'll try it with nine. Bye. And then we'll try it with one rooster. Because that's what it was in 19. Now, if I'm mistaken, everyone, um, let me know. All right. So now we got to go get some wheat, right? All right. First time doing chickens. Oh, they're free range chickens, too. Sweet. Yeah, now it'll feel like a farm with the chickens running around there. Oh, uh, we also had somebody ask what my, um, what my, uh, what do you call it there? Uh, force feedback was on my wheel. Uh, I, 99.999% of the time, I don't even use a wheel in this game. I use my joystick. Uh, and that's why you'll see this. Okay? So the person said, I don't understand, like, I've never seen a wheel jerk back that way. Well, if you're using a, a joystick or a, uh, uh, controller, it snaps. This is my steering wheel. See? So, I gotta change the, the, what do you call it there, the, uh, latency on it is off again. Every time I restart my computer, sometimes. Uh, oh, pallets. Let's go get some a couple of, like, five or six bags of, of wheat. Wheat. Uh, when I was on multiplayer, this is a funny little story. I was sitting here, and I bought... I bought this, thinking it was seeds. And I bought two pallets for CC, and they were pallets of wheat. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, that's seeds, and now wheat. It's got the chicken on it. I should have known. I also don't know how much they're going to take. Either this is the greatest, one of the greatest mods ever. I just, I think I might have to edit it. Uh, cause these are, these should be hundred pound bags. Now this, um, chicken feed might be 50 pounds. I'm not, I mean, whatever, but the seeds and fertilizer should be a hundred. Um, that's only 200, right? Cause each one of these are 50. So that's 200. Let's take down 200 more. Two fifty, three hundred, three fifty, four hundred, four fifty, five hundred. 
it's almost cheaper to buy wheat for your uh your animals right they do take wheat um yeah food it just says food okay I don't know if there's a difference. Like I said, I don't usually do chickens, but I, out of the corner of my eye, I was like, well, let's try it. Let's see what we can do here. Whew. Sure, you can just whip these. Look how strong I am. I'm just like whipping these 50 pound bags around with one hand. I'm like, yeah. My little hand comes out and I go, yeah, one handed. Which I could. I mean, I could pick that up one-handed. 50 pounds isn't that heavy. In fact, my dog food is usually 100 pounds. I had to switch dog food. See the straps? Uh, now, on the 1978 one that we originally had, the straps never went over the bags. They go right over the bags now because they're inside. So now we can drive like madmen if we wanted, but we're not going to. Now, do chickens get water? No, right? I don't think they do, right? I don't know. We're going to find out. I like the color of this truck now, though. This has become one of my favorite trucks. Pickup trucks. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but in cab, watch this. When I stop... See the little shifter? Make sure nothing's coming here. Watch. <laughs> it just sounds good. It just looks good. The weight holds the weight pretty good. Here's the rooster. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That looks kind of neat. Beep, 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 beep. Coming through, chicks. Coming through, chicks. Coming through, coming through, coming through. Now. Okay, so we're going to do what we would do in real life is open it up here. Take the straps off. We'd have to do that from out here, but I think. You put it in right here, right? Yep. Okay. Now, what did that do? Ooh, getting, he's making eggs already. <laughs> 50. Well, what kind of chicken is that? That's kind of neat. Speckled? It's, there's different kinds of breeds of chicken. I know that, right? Ah! <laughs> Man, it sounds like a farm now. Loving this. That's 150, and we haven't even budged. Okay. Can I just toss this down here? Oh, no. I gotta chuck it. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I don't care. Makes for a fun time. Now, I wanna see if I can okay well you obviously can't throw these but you can pick them up with one hand right in a bucket the cool thing about this though is it will give you something to do like in the winter time you can always kill time going up to the store and buying seeds or chicken feed or lime or fertilizer and you can um boy this is gonna i don't know how much they're gonna use but this is gonna have to get them started I me mean, two hundred dollars worth of chicken feed for ten chickens <laughs> but yeah, this this is great because especially for smart, smart, small f uh, farm maps. There's 500 grain in there. We're gonna see how far that goes them. It goes them. Look, I can sell these guys for 834 dollars. 
I spent I bought them for twelve hundred dollars a piece, but still. Um, and now, where does the eggs? Oh, right here. They're gonna spawn right there. And you know what? And that. What are they doing? Do chickens do that? Wow, that's cool. I don't even care. They look real. Um, then we can throw them right in this nice pickup and go sell them. Alright, so we're going to put this back under our pavilion here. We're going to go check on Walter after we've killed about 800 chickens. You know what we should do? Instead of putting it there, we should put it in our garage right here. That's what we'll do. That's awesome sounding. How's he doing over there? Uh, did, did, he, he stopped. Okay. Well, let's put our truck away first, and then we'll go back and we'll rock pick. I'll go ahead and finish that off camera before we start next time. Because you guys already watched a bunch of rock picking. This is a really nice little spot for my truck. My truck. Will that shut? Let's hope. Let's hope I can go backwards a little bit more. Perfect. 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 Now, what I want to do, though... Is I think we can get into it from here. Yes, we can. We can get into our house. That is the way the truck is supposed to be parked. Because you would definitely want to come right out of your garage and get right in your truck. Alright, so let's get back over where Walter, or Sarah, did not do a good job. So you can only hire them for... You can only hire them for one pass. That's okay. So we got the line or the manure spread. We got it cultivated, and now we're on to finishing up these rocks. And then I'm going to turn them off. We went ahead and we got chickens. Uh, this is going to be a wheat field, so we're going to take the wheat out of here first, and we are going to feed our chickens uh, with it. We're going to fill it up, and then we're going to store some on the farm. Uh, because, as I stated to you guys before, that once we run wheat in this field, then I want to do oil seed radish the next round to hold the ground because we're on quite a bit of a hill. And then we're going to do a uh, legume, we're gonna, which is a family of beans. We're going to do um, wheat, and then we're going to do beans. So this is only going to produce wheat or barley every two years. Uh, and then what you do, uh, some, one of the family members was asking me, um, you want to, if you put wheat or barley cereal crop or oats into your field at first, then you want to follow it up the next season, uh, with, um, a legume family, which is the beans or cauliflower, cauliflower, yeah, cauliflower, yeah, cauliflower, whatever you say it, um, and, uh, then you want to come back. Then when you get to the third go around, instead of just planting wheat or barley in here again, you want to, um, uh, you then want to leave this field empty for a year. Okay? Uh, it's called fallow or something like that. I can't remember the proper term off the top of my head, but, uh, you want to empty it. You want to keep it empty for a year so that it gets all of the erosion and stuff goes away. All the crappy stuff gets washed away. Um, and then you come back the fourth year. So this year we're going to plant um, wheat in it. And then next year we're going to plant uh, soybeans in it. And then the following year it's going to be empty. This field won't have anything in it the following year. It'll just be, we can get it all ready. We can get it all fer fertilized and cultivated and everything. And then we got to wait a whole year before we can plant in it. Or 10 months or 11 months according to 
11 days, according to real time. Uh, and that's what it. Now, that field over there is grass. That can stay grass permanently. Um, and every once in a while, what we will do, uh, even though in real life, Dad and I never, ever, ever fertilized grass, um, we did, however, technically fertilize it. When we had an excess, excess of slurry or manure, we did go and spray it on the grass, uh, on our, on our, um, our meadows, as we called them. Um, and that's because um, we had an excess, excess amount. So, and that's what we'll do is every once in a while. Um, and then every, th well, see, that was the thing is grass meadows are something that kind of just get left alone. Um, and they don't, they don't get bothered. They just grow and grow and grow. And you can spread manure on them because many, many, many farmers do that. Or they do slurry. or Because I don't think a lot of farmers that I know anyways would waste the money uh, using liquid gold, as we used to call it. A liquid fertilizer or powdered fertilizer is expensive uh, on a meadow. Now, you would use that stuff on your fields because you want the biggest yield that you can. Um, but on meadows, grass meadows like that one down there or, you know, like what's growing in between our cow pasture and stuff like that, um, that sort of thing. But we'll purchase this field here next after we harvest. Um, and we'll decide what we want in it. But you do the same routine every time. With the exception of when I grew up, we didn't subsoil only every about five or six seasons. Um, we were on what was called a no-till farm, and basically we just cultivated it in. Uh, when we did wheat or corn or anything that had stubble left over in the field, we would take our big butterfly mowers and mow over them, and it would mulch it up and chop all the little stubble right into the ground and then you come and you cultivate it into the ground and it, it gives you basically another level of fertilizer which is what the straw uh straw thing does straw me or whatever not straw me there's a mod that came out where it gives you uh if you spray the straw back onto the ground it gives you a level of fertilizer which it really does that's super realistic but yeah we got a couple minutes left here. I'm going to go about another minute. And then I'll finish this off camera. We'll come back. And I got to clean the manure out. I got to go get 10 more bags of wheat. Um, and go from there. So there's lots and lots and lots of stuff to do. Always. As you guys see, we're still... We're on episode 9 right now. And we are literally still on our own second little field. That's it. You know, the... the as I told Farmer Z, the people that go out there and they harvest a 100-acre field in an hour, you know, hey, that's the way you guys want to play the game. That's perfectly fine with me. I don't have a problem with that because um, it's your game. You can play it any way you want it. But uh, as you can see, playing it super realistic, even this little tiny three-acre field is now nine episodes in. And we had two episodes at 30 minutes. And then we've had seven episodes at an hour. So it's seven hours, eight hours total of work. Um, between the, the this and the update, nine hours it's taken us to do two fields. That's it so far. And it's only half an acre and three acres, so less than four acres. And it's taken us nine hours to do it. And I still got to come up here and seed this, which I can't yet because I have to wait till August. But then there's manure to clean up. There's, uh, I got to go get more feed. I got to get more seeds brought back down. There's all kinds of stuff to do. All kinds of stuff. And on that note, everyone, please, please, please look out for each other. Look out for yourselves. And most importantly, look out for each other's family. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. And hit the little notification ding, ding bell. So you get notified when Fury drops a, a video. Please, in the comments, let me know what I asked you guys about. And on that note, we will... See everyone back here in a couple of days. Now, if it this map works out, I'm going to be getting excited to get going on it. 
um i've also oh one last thing i've also decided uh ranger and i have decided that uh multiplayer will probably be coming to two days a week um and then i'm gonna have a main let's play and then this super realistic let's play so on that note everyone i'll catch everyone in a couple of days i'm gonna take some time to be with my family and relax and enjoy the 60 degree weather that's coming probably gonna grill out and on that note everyone enjoy your weekend and i'll see everybody back here monday night have a great one everyone